Don't you just hate to be wrong? I don't, because when I'm wrong, I learn stuff. And in my previous video, which you can see somewhere around here, I said boldly that you cannot record any footage on that camera, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with the Samsung T7. You can with the T5, you've always been able to do it on the T5, but I wasn't able to do it on the T7, so I said you can't really do it, no matter how much you try, which is incorrect according to you guys in the comment section. So today we're gonna update the firmware on that camera, and then we're gonna try the T7 again and see if we can get it to run. So I'm gonna need that camera. All right, so the first thing we need to do when we upgrade the firmware is to go to blackmagicdesign.com and then we are going to go to support. And here you have a bunch of downloadables and we have 6.3 or something on this one, the firmware. So we're gonna go to professional cameras and then we're going to go to, I think we have the 773 update. We're gonna download that. I'm on a Mac, so we're gonna download the Mac version. You can download the Windows version if you want that. You can either register with the product information if you want to, or you can go to download only, which is what we're gonna do. And when it's downloaded, you just unzip it, and uh, inside of that zip file, there's a DMG file. All right, so when the file is downloaded, you just double click on it and you only need to install camera V773. You're not installing it on the camera now, you're just installing an app. And then you plug the camera in to use this application with the camera. If you have used the speed editor before, you'll recognize the user interface. It's pretty similar. So let's have a look at it. If it doesn't pop up by itself, you are looking for an application called camera something something. So let's just go into applications and see if we can find the newly installed Blackmagic cameras. Double click on the camera setup and then you get this user interface with nothing in it. And now it's time to actually plug in the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And this being a Blackmagic Cinema Camera Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, you need your own nuclear plant to power it. There we go. And we are going to use the USB-C plug to plug this into the MacBook. So when we do that, it is supposed to appear and I'm guessing it actually will. So we're gonna plug it into the camera first via the USB-C, and then we're gonna plug it into the MacBook. And when we turn this on, it's gonna find the camera in our user interface. And that was rather quick. So it found the pocket and there is an update. So version 696, no wonder the T7 didn't work, right? So we are on 7.7.3 now. So let's just go and update and just let it do its thing. And then we're gonna do a little test run with the T7 and see if we can get that to work. All right, update is complete. We have the, it's, it's been factory reset all the way back to language selection. So we're just gonna hit done here and I would like to unplug the camera. So I'm gonna do that, just close everything and unplug it. Nothing caught fire. Language, English, okay. And we're pretty much good to go. All right, there we go. So we're gonna try to use the T7 now and see if it works. Can we record stuff? If we can, then I'm still right about it not working. I don't wanna be right. I wanna be wrong about this one. So where's my cable? Oh, cable. Okay. All right, so let's see, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna plug this in, there's, there's no cage or anything, this is just a test, right? So, let's USB-C U, this is probably gonna fall out, but 
It's all for science. It's all for science. All right, so we're gonna try to shoot with the T7 now and see if a test footage works after the firmware update. So everything is just set up to this fantastically uh, interesting frame. We're gonna hit record. You can see the, um, the disc is here. Let's hit record. That's recording. Just gonna lift up this. A very interesting thing going on. Like that. And then we're gonna try to play back the, the footage. I'm gonna hit play and looks looks promising. We got sound, we got stuff lifted up. So it looks like we can actually yeah, shoot on the T7 after all. Learning experience, I guess. All right, so moral of the story is that don't be too overconfident when you think that things just don't work. Listen to the guys in the comment section. Light's gone. All right, moral of the story, don't be overconfident when you think something is wrong. You probably haven't tried everything. Uh, this apparently works according to the guys in the forum or in the comments. So <laughs> lesson number two, listen to everyone in the comments. And I love you guys for being so active in the comment section because I see you're, you're uh, helping each other out and we even have people in the comment section doing like tests on the drive I'm not gonna do tests on this drive now it works we have one test footage if you can't get it to play right away try to plug it into your machine and then back in that worked for us there were some playback issues so we're recording but we still had recording earlier so if this plays back this means that People in the comment sections were right. I learned something and we live in a better world. So let's close that down and try to hit play. This is like the moment of truth. <laughs> Did it even work? What? But um, yeah, so happy filming, I guess, with your uh, new firmware and your new drive. Bye.